Now here we uh, let's say we have uh, um, a table. So we get a table in which we get the data. So we build the table uh, using the table maintenance generator. So we build the table using the variable maintenance generator, and from here we we just go ahead and uh, use that table maintenance generator. So let us now go ahead and uh, create the um, use the table maintenance generator. So for this, we will display the data from our table, the table that we have created just now. ZBA underscore KNBK is the table that we have created. ZBA underscore KNBK, and we are going to get the data out of this table. So let us see how to do that. And let me log in into the SAP system. So here we we'll, we we would like to get this data which is there in the SAP standard uh, I mean like our uh, customized table into the, this particular uh, output of the screen. This is what it has. We have this data. We just have two records, so we can enter more number of records as well. So ZB and if can be K, we want to display the data in this table in this table into an output screen. That's what we want to do now. So for that, we'll go ahead and first we'll use the table maintenance generator for display a table table control with wizard to display the data. Later we can also update the data from the same screens. So let us go ahead and create a module pool program. Table control table control underscore module pool one module pool ten create table control with wizard table control with wizard and then we'll go for module pool program here say okay and okay here and I'll save it in our package just say okay so once it's been done uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, uh, declare that internal table and work area that's very very important it underscore knbk type standard table of zv underscore knbk w underscore knbk type zv underscore knbk that's it now here this is what we have to do activate it Uh, after activation, uh, we will write this uh, program here. SC51, which will write create table control and then flow logic. In this flow logic, we'll just update this uh, and comment this module and comment this module as well. And this needs to be created in our program. So we need to make sure we come out of the program, and that's very important. And we are out of the program, otherwise, it doesn't get created. So we'll double click on this module and say yes. And let us create that in the main program only. So what happens when you select the include program is it'll it'll get saved in some other one. As I told you, I'll be we'll be doing that in the next uh, scenario will save this all in the include program okay save and back then we'll double click on this user command say yes in the main program say okay and this is also done so in this we will write uh, that case statement for uh, exit okay case that's why you come in case then new program this is what we have now after this
activation is not required here but anyways okay i'm going back now and here we will go ahead with the layout and we'll design a table here we'll design a table here now in this we need to go ahead and uh, select this table control with wizard table control with wizard is what we need to select here and the in the in this particular uh, screen table control with wizard and we have to draw it so now automatically this pop up will come here in this pop up we'll just click on this continue we'll click on this continue and in this it will ask for the table control this table control name can be anything i'll give it as tc1 you can give any name tc1 table control one and then here we should select this as internal table and we need to select the internal table from here because we should make sure that it is accessible so now this is accessible it means we are we are in the right track okay so when you manually type it you will not know whether you are in the right track or not so we have this table control and here also we have to select the work area W on screen okay. continue and we need to select what are the fields that we want to display so i'm selecting all the fields except ma and dt so all this uh, when i select all these fields it becomes too long so let me uncheck this uh, bkont bvtyp these are not that important here. Say so continue. And then output only. Now, as I said, you input control also is there, wherein we can update the data from this table, which we'll do later. But right now, we are just displaying the data. So we'll just click on the continue. And then continue again. Continue. And complete. So this is the data that we have. Click on this push button here take the push button here and uh, in the push button push button is for exit pb1 exit ext so we are giving it as name as pb1 text as exit and that's it and and fct code is ext fct code we are giving it as ext so we are giving the fct code here the fct code that we have here is ext now we'll come back from this the moment we come back there is a lot of code that will automatically get generated in the backend if you observe here there will be a lot of code that will be generated in the backend so if you see here this is all the code that got generated in the backend in the in the module pool programming in the sc51 we got this all data in the sc51 Now here also we'll got we'll get a lot of con lot of code here that gets generated here. If you see here, this is all the code that gets generated here automatically got generated. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and write the logic for this select statement. So the select statement is for getting the data into the selection uh, into the table select star from uh, zva underscore knbk into table it underscore knbk since we have only very less number of fields uh, we don't need to actually restrict the data on select select options or any any other such parameters to select options and anything like that we can just normally because we just have two records in some cases the table might have million records in that case you have to make sure you have the select optional parameters here so save syntax activate done and now uh, 
now we'll come back so this uh sc51 is inactive let me activate that back program is also active sc51 the screen is also active now we will go ahead with sc93 to add the mm, transaction code zb underscore tc1 create table control tc2 say okay and the program name that we have here is zva tc mp10 zva underscore t tc underscore mp10 and here the screen number have to be selected here save save again okay now here we have zva underscore tc2 is the one we can execute from here also or we can get so by default when you come to the screen you will not see this data but all that you have to do is you give some user input here just say enter you will get these records so these are the records which are already been updated in the table and uh, all the records will come here if you want to edit the data or update the data or create new records also we can do that but we'll do that later Okay, this happens to be a simple uh, project on using table control only for display. We can later, later do a scenario in which we can update the data through the this uh, particular table. This one. 